Hi, it's Dave Lawrence from the California Type Foundry. I am going to talk with you about the top five ways to organize your font in Font Lab. Method number one is the drag and drop method. All you're going to do is go to your font wherever you want to move, hold down shift, select, and then just hold down and move it where you want. Okay, method number two is to sort using Unicode. You can go to here and click Unicode and go to the font menu, click sort glyphs, and click on Unicode here. And now our font is in Unicode order. Okay, number three, use the sidebar and sort by type. Sorting by the sidebar, this is not gonna actually change the order of your font but it will help you find the correct things when you need it. Uppercase, lowercase, numbers, punctuation, it's all on the sidebar over there. Okay, number four, color and sort by flag. So with this we're gonna use, actually, the last one, we're gonna use the sidebar in order to do this. So I click on the sidebar here. I'm gonna turn this off, and now I'm gonna highlight these. I'm gonna push a color. Then I'm gonna click on lowercase. I'm gonna highlight those and push a different color. Then let's try the other uppercase. I'm gonna take those, I'm gonna put those at a similar color here. Maybe we will try some type of orange. And now when I, click the X here, category, and then I'm a category all, and then I click on Unicode. I can click sort by flag, and now it's in the order of colors in the rainbow. If I want the font to permanently have this order, then I go up to font. I click on sort glyphs, and I say current order, and now they're sorted according to that order. Okay, the fifth and the last way is to create an encoding page. This has been one of my favorite methods of doing it. Uh, it's a little bit more in-depth and complex than the other ones, so let's take a look. For, so an encoding page is when you click on encoding and you see all these here. Here are some ones that are come included with FontLab, and you can see I have made some of my own up there. So what you wanna do is click on this, click on the uppercase here, hold down shift, select that, push command. And now we're gonna go over to your text edit sort of program that does plain text. We're gonna click command N to go to new. Okay, there we go, paste it all. And now we have this list here. So what we do is, now this is gonna be different for PC. Go, you click, go into your finder, click go, hold down option, cl click on library, then go to application support, then go to font lab, then go to font lab seven, go to encoding, and there you have the pages, the um, some of the encoding pages. These are ones that I have made. So now what you're gonna do is double click on that, and you'll see at the top, it has to follow this format here. So you're going to put font lab encoding, all this stuff. Then you have to label it a little bit of a different number than you've used before. So I'm just going to add a two onto that one. I'm going to call this Ocean Wide Latin Plus Two. The group is Sans. I click on, I click Save, and I need to go to the same location. So what I do is I drag from this folder. I drag and I say I'm going to put that in the same location. I'm going to say this Ocean Wide version two. I push Save. And what you do is you continue to go on, copy this over, 
and continue to build up that list. And that way, all you have to do in the future is click on encoding and then go to the one that is yours and it has everything in the order that you want. As an extra bonus, let me show you the one that I've already made. What I've done is I've put lowercase here. I have an empty glyph that then helps me to organize all the different places in my font, uppercase, figures, and then this is the order that I actually work in. So then I can make a similar font that has the same symbols very quickly. So those are the top five ways to organize your font. Please, I appreciate it if you click the like button. Leave a comment below if what type of tutorial you want. I appreciate it and talk to you soon.